I'm doing reactions to Jujutsu Kaisen on the Patreon. I'm really liking it. I'm in season one. The fights are really good. The story is cool, but the soundtrack is amazing. I think it was about a year ago. I did a multi-anime opening video that had opening one. We did a musical analysis. I really like that, but it's time to get into opening two and three. I'm looking forward to continuing my journey of reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen on Patreon, but first we've got to talk about something. Awesome champions, intense PVE and PVP content, tactical upgrade systems. Sounds like a pretty good game, right? Well, I got to tell you, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Are you familiar with the Hydra and Raid? I didn't think so. Let me tell you about a couple of them and how their different heads function in battle. The Head of Decay will try to slowly weaken your team all while keeping other heads in good shape. It has attacks, but they're nothing compared to its passive. Every time you heal one of your champions, they'll actually lose max HP. That would be bad enough, but the Head of Decay can also use a new life barrier buff. When it places a life barrier, it creates an HP shield on the target's head, and if you can't break the shield in time, the head gets fully healed. It is a real pain to deal with. The Head of Wrath. This head gets angry, very angry. It weakens and taunts your team, but the real pain comes once you've beat it up a bit. After you've hit it 15 times, the Head of Wrath gives itself a scary new buff, Vengeance, which triples its attack power until the end of its next turn. Then, it hits you. This thing deals crazy damage, so you need to be careful about letting it get Vengeance, or your team's just gonna die. It's best to use champions that hit hard, but only hit once. Do you want a free legendary champion? Well, that's a silly question. Of course you do, especially when they're as cool as this. Check out Sun Wukong, Raid's take on the mischievous Monkey King coming in as a free legendary champion. All you've got to do is log into Raid on seven different days between August 22nd and October 23rd to get your hands on this awesome champion. But the updates don't stop here. Raid Shadow Legends is increasing its roster of awesome looking champions with a brand new rarity, Mythical. Mythical champions have a special new mechanic called Metamorph that allows them to change between two different forms. Each form has a different type, so one could be a damage dealing knight and the other could be a flaming angel of healing. Attention new players, only now you have the chance to get one of the best epic champions, Stagnite, as well as a skin for him designed by John Tron himself. Just use the promo code JTSKIN before October 7th. Also, if you click my link or scan the QR code in the screen, you'll get a free starter pack with this in-game loot. There it is. Link is down in the video description below. Now back to the video. Jujutsu Kaisen opening two. Well, the full version of the song for opening two. This is Vivid Vice by Huya Extended. I'm excited. Let's get into it. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that little introduction was cool. I really like the timbre change on the voice between the bullhorn sound and then it goes to a gorgeous clean tone. That was really nice, but not the focal point for me. The focal point is the guitar line versus the kick drum on the drummer. Man, it's a nice groove. The -na 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 little half step stuff going on, but just listen down to the kick drum. That is like the top of the mix for me too, like as far as volume goes. I mean, it's like, it's not a melody. It's like a rhythm melody. The real melody is obviously on the bullhorn. The ba -da 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 -da, that stuff going on. But it's so hot in the mix, you can't help but listen to it. And the syncopation, it's cool though. It's like a nice syncopation. I'll play it one more time. We'll let it go on. That's happening, man. As we get into that, we'll we'll start the real verse properly here in a second. I just want to make a comment that the, the kick drum went back to normal normal volume as soon as all the rest of the guitar mix came in, and you know, like a very pop kind of like pre-verse there. Yeah, it all makes sense. And that man, the voice is just soaring on top. Beautiful stuff. Okay, let's see what the verse is all about. <laughs> That's a cool verse. We have an A and a B side of it. It's eight bars each side. I feel like there's a lot more guitar representation in the first part of the verse. And then it opens up. You can kind of hear like kind of a thwappy electric bass sound. But then there's all these like, like glissando stuff going on. I can't tell if it's hitting big toms and they're just like ringing or if we're actually getting the glissando in the bass. Let's go back. I think it was like at 23 seconds. So we'll listen to the whole verse again. <laughs> Also should mention the syncopation and that groove is still present from that previous stuff on the drummer. So I love what's going on the drummer. I'm sorry to stop it again. Here, okay, here's the verse. I will not stop it. Hear that? 
sound good. Okay, the other cool thing about the B side of the verse is the da 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 The rhythms of the voice are being like given to us so much different than the A side. I really, really like that. I think, let's see, that's 45. I think the B side is about right here. Let's try it. Yeah, man, that's nice. Uh, very cool. Oh, good. So I, I don't feel like we need to go back for the chorus. So there was like a little eight bar was, I'm not sure if it was four or eight. Either way, there was like a little pre-chorus there that felt like a, a halftime groove. And then we kind of jumped into the chorus. The chorus uh, felt like what it should feel like. It was very pop sounding, very predictable chord progression, but all good though. Like matches the tone of the song. Uh, definitely enjoy it. All right. Back a couple seconds and let's see where else we go. <laughs> Call to the beginning there. But you know I gotta go back for the variation of the drum mat, the cross stick stuff, and just with how aggressive that kick drum pattern is, you know I absolutely love it. Let's just go back to appreciate that. Listen down the drums, man. Perfect. Yeah, that was cool. Pretty predictable build. You know, the second, the B side of that, we knew what was going on. But the first though, the A side of that, we pull everything away. There's some cool, I don't know what it is. There's some little cool effect. I'm going back to 140 here. Let's just go check this out. Yeah, so it's super affected out guitars that are kind of communicating back. I have a very stereo effect going on, but I have some bass presence here on the left side. And it's just kind of like, kind of like a repeater groove just with some high-end treble guitar sounds there it's really nice so it really supports the voice in a great way let's get it one more time and we'll let this uh this section play out again the no drums is nice Obviously, to come back This is the point in the song where I say I like the tuning of the snare drum because it sounds really good. Uh, everything's cool. You know, like that build, it makes sense. You take away the percussion. You drop out the floor. We talk about this like in almost every video, how effective of a tool it is for when you're the listener. You get used to a groove. You get pulled in. You're passively listening. All of a sudden, the floor goes away. It ha it, it's a reset button for you. It brings you back. And it's it's a little bit of variety, but it's a variety that is used all the time, right? So, I mean, it, it depends on like how you define variety, but... At least it's there. I'm going to go with that. that. That That'll be with what I say. Okay, back a couple seconds. The build is cool. And I'll see where we go. Okay, I like that one a lot better. We get all kinds of notes in the snare drum. Bass plays a big, big glissando, and then there's nothing. And it's chills. We just hear the resonance, the tonality, where the guitars are at, and then we drop back in. I like that there's little differences. To me, that's super important because, remember, you could always you could always not do that. It could be just cookie cutter, like rinse and repeat, but it's not, though. So little things like that, they do make a difference. All right, this is back five seconds. <laughs> The 
I love, I absolutely love the ending, man. Get it, man. Okay, cool. So that's only the second opening I've heard. Uh, obviously, I'm doing Jujutsu Kaisen on Patreon right now, but I'm I'm only five episodes in, so I've only heard the first one. But here's what I will tell you right now. Having done, I think like, I don't remember what multi-anime video it was like for like a year ago, whenever it was, I did the first opening. When I watched Jujutsu Kaisen, I was like, oh yeah, it's a really great song. I remember it. That way it stuck with me. I like this song, but the first, the other one like really hits me. So, I mean, some, I don't really care about ranking stuff. People are always asking me, they're like, I'm always getting messages all the time. Like, Hey, do you like this? What do you think about this versus that? So if you had to ask me right now, opening number one is still like my strong point. I like this one though. It was cool. I'm sure once I get there in the anime and I hear it more, you know what? That's not, I mean, when I'm reacting to it, I still skip the first one though, but I can remember. I just hear the first like two bars. I'm like, oh yeah, this is such a great song. So it's weird how that works. Anyway, that's what I think. Let me know what you think. Next up is Jujutsu Kaisen opening three, the full version of the song Where Our Blue Is by Tetsuo Katani. All right, here we go. What? Into bum bum ba -da -da. something beautiful out of the first. Okay, I need the first 10 seconds again, obviously. What? It's like a traditional sound. There's a squelch. Ba -da -ba -da -da. I, man, I love this. <laughs> I absolutely love this. <laughs> what is what is the Chewbacca Wookiee thing? It's like it's a major chord that's crescendoing and just sets us into the verse. <laughs> Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, man. This first part of this verse is gorgeous. This open legato stuff with like little static sounds, though. And super spatial bass. The bass player is almost not even involved. But when they do come in, it's so tasty. I, man, I'm really liking this one so far. This is cool. Right, let's keep going. This is more of the verse. Oh. I'm sorry, what the... End of that verse, it went from like cool, almost odd meter sounding drum fill to bass to guitar to voice, all echoing similar. Hold on, I need that again. Sorry. Dude, I love this one so far. This is freaking amazing. Okay. Sorry, one more time. You know what? I just want that second hat. This the we had the A part of the verse. I want the B part of the verse again. There's such good. There's a uh, chord change in there. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Right here. Oh, I love it. Dude, this is a court man. I want to see this. The, if you're at the live show, the dance floor, everyone's dancing. There's no one standing still. This is happening, man. This is a really well put together chorus. I'm loving it. It's all the guitar stuff going on versus that bass line and how groovy the drums is. Now, granted, he's singing his ass off. The melody sounds freaking amazing, but you know me. I'm always listening down. Okay, let's see what the second half side part of this groove is. <laughs> Uh, did you hear the guitarist? That diga diga. If you think about this, that diga diga. Uh, eighth note, three, sixth note, triplets. That diga diga. 
that diga diga that diga diga that diga diga that's so hard to that diga diga to get that clean. All the guitarists in the chat, you know, when you're sitting, you're practicing that. Well, like without a pick, how much you destroy? <laughs> you destroy your finger trying to play that. So I want that more in context again, please and thank you. Variation. That was cool. We got a, it's the same melody from the beginning, but completely different. I mean, not different, just a different style, the way they're backing it with the four on the floor. It sounds a little bit more club-esque and just like so much more reverbs on the uh, kind of the synth instruments that are backing the voice there. I... I mean, we're only halfway through. I'm really liking the song. This is pretty cool. Let's keep going. Mm. Oh. Did we... Oh. No, we changed to a club. I thought we, there was a metric modulation. That, we'll go back and look at that in a second. Uh, first and foremost, the section that we just had, dare I say it, it was almost a little bit Polyphia-esque. I mean, not really. Like, Tim's guitar has such, like, more of a mid-range tone represented there. But I think it was more like that boom, boom, ba. It's, like, funky. You got, like, a rhythm that everyone plays. Then there's, like, a call and response. And it's, like, cool. There's, like, slap bass happening, that kind of stuff going on. Let me just... Let's go back real quick. Yeah. Okay, and then we get into this funky part. I, I like that, though. It's cool because the vocalist is still doing her thing, but the instrumental side is getting a lot more... I won't say... Okay, complicated is a stretch. Complicated in comparison to the rest of the song. Not complicated in reality playing music and the execution of it, but... It's just so much more going on, but it still works. Now, what I'm really curious about is where we go right here, because it almost felt like a metric modulation, but it's not. Yeah, that mess, that mess, uh, boom, and, and uh, I thought we're going to changing this to the new quarter. It's not, though. It's still, it, it just, we just have like this house beat underneath. That's pretty cool, though. I really dig that. One more time. It just messed me the first time. What a different feel. Okay, this section is wild because suddenly it's a, this would be if you were there, man, this would be blowing your chest out with the bass. It's cool. It's completely unrelated to the previous. I, I like it, though. I really like it for that, that that reason. But uh, the the not falsetto, I guess the head voice quality, the his vocal range here is really, really nice. And it's just so smooth. But again, I really was like tripped up by it. Is this a metric? Are we going somewhere else? What's happening? We didn't, which is pretty cool. But still, let's go back a couple seconds here. Yes. <laughs> oh, beautiful, man. Great bass playing. What a great song. You know what? Okay. That's my favorite one. That's my, I know we have more to go. We're not going to do more Jujutsu Kaisen in this video, but that's my favorite one so far. That one, I just, I don't know. 
the the groove on the chorus it is such a dance party yet we had all these elements of cool little things that were just like not traditional music man like there's so many linear little spurt like thoughts i i mean i know that's not for everybody but it definitely is for me so i don't know this is my favorite one that's just my take let me know your take in the comments and uh yeah i'm looking forward to doing more though my name is Drumroll Tony. If you want to watch Jujitsu Kaisen with me, links for the Patreon is down in the video description below. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Please and thank you. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. Have a great day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.